Hi and welcome to another day of my vlog. I am so glad that you guys are here today because today is going to be fun. Today it's going to be like super fun and for today's vlog I decided to do another makeup video. So a couple of days ago I went down to Saruna stores and I basically went looking for makeup products that might be a little bit on the cheaper side um, and do a tutorial on it and see whether the products actually work or not. And I was doing that more just for the fun of it and also just to kind of really see if some of these cheaper makeups uh, were actually even worth it in the long run or worth even spoiling your face for it. Uh, I always believe that it's best to at least use uh, better known brands because you know that their formulas have been tested on skin and they're safe, they're safe for your eyes, uh, they, they're just generally safe and it's not going to cause you acne, uh, you know, or any like super, super negative effects, which obviously none of us really want. And I have heard people like, you know, have bad breakouts or, you know, just have like, darker lips their lips going dark because they're using cheap lipstick or just you know whatever random stuff might be right you know random things might be out there so um it's one of the palettes that i was excited about when i went out there and you know of course you saw the review on my beauty blender in my last video i'll put that link below but i wanted to show you guys the huda eyeshadow palette now i don't know whether you guys have ever seen this but Look at it, and I and I wanted to do the front and back of it because it's just like you have got to be kidding me. Like honestly, like honestly, and I'm sure that you know if she sees this video and she says she's gonna be like what, she's gonna be like crying with guts on and like you know my palette. Uh, I know. I'm sorry. I apologize that I did pick this up. I apologize that I did do this tutorial with uh, with this eye palette. I apologize that I'm wearing it on my face right now. I know I shouldn't be encouraging it. I know I should not be encouraging anybody to go and even buy this. Um, and to be honest, I totally don't want you to think that I'm actually even promoting buying um, what I would essentially say as pirated products. Um, so the reason why even if I've put on a makeup and it's, you know, hopefully looking nice on camera as well, um, yeah, it might look nice and all that stuff. And if you want to use it just for maybe like, you know, just doing a makeup art and then just washing off your face, that's, that maybe it's okay, you know. Uh, you know, just don't tell the brand names because of that. But at the same time, um, you know, like I wouldn't recommend you to wear this outside. I wouldn't recommend you to you know wear this for a long number of hours on your face. Absolutely not. You know, if you want to use this, you can use these for your makeup arts, and then just like you know, makeup practice, makeup arts, and then like you know, because then it, you would just wash it off in in an hour or two and not really bother about it, not wear it out, not wear it out. It's on because I honestly don't know the effects of these because I don't know the formula. Uh, even though they say there is a lot of formula going on out here, I don't know whether you know any of it is true. I cannot actually say it. Yes, and I'm sorry that I'm even showcasing this on, um, you know, on the on my channel. But I want to show this because just to generate awareness that these kind of products are available on the market. Most of you have bought it, and I'm definitely know have tried it. Um, yeah, I, I, I maybe even Huda has bought it herself, and you know checked it out i don't know so right so i picked this palette up um a gorgeous one for 300 rupees um i don't know what the original is and i'm sure that you can for anybody who's actually ever bought the palette would know that but honestly speaking guys even for you know making a cheap knockoff they've actually really gone ahead and and really followed a lot of in-depth details that's what i really like about it so i'm going to take this off and you know, i really love those eyes that are there in there but i don't know do you think my eyes look anything like that do you think do you think i don't think so i don't think so i am not that good so yeah, I'm just gonna open up this palette because the, I love the box. The box was really neat. Sorry, the the transparent paper for lot. So I'm just gonna open the box. So it had this bit of transparent sheet out there to protect it. And like I don't know whether like, even these shades are real. So I'm gonna like just swatch them on my hand. Oh, by the way, I'm sorry that I'm gonna show you a hairy hand. And uh, yeah, I'm apologizing in advance for it. Now the reason why I'm not swatching on the inner part of my eye, uh, hand is because. My inner hand is pretty much on the fairer side, but my outer hand is more closer to the skin color that I have on. I'm going to show you that I actually swatched it. Like, and I hope you can see it. Like, it's like awesome colors. Now, my hand is like medium skin tone. Um, and yeah, you know, I mean, some of them look really different when you put a concealer underneath it and things like that. Sort of, but then it's just still really awesome. It was an awesome palette, so I kind of really liked it. So before I go into this makeup video, I don't know whether you want to be grabbing your popcorn or you want to be grabbing your Diet Coke or your Diet Pepsi. Okay, I like Diet Coke more than I like the Diet Pepsi. I'm a Coke person, can't help it. But yeah, if you want to also grab your fresh fruit juice. But if you do that, no added sugar. Let's move on into the makeup. 
So I'm going to do the makeup on camera for one eye only. And for that, I start by planning my eye. I'm just putting a moisturizer. I will be eventually doing the other eye off camera. You might see me looking away, but then that's basically because I'm just making sure that my eye is in the frame at all times. Um, so I'm just doing a like concealer. And then just blend it out. So gotta make sure that it's blended nicely because you guys are super, super, super close, which is the first time I'm doing such an up close video. So also checking my eye out here at the same time that it is super blended and that it's looking amazing and awesome, like I am. <laughs> okay, so just a bit of concealer. Sorry, just a bit of foundation, just so that I keep things going, and I'm doing that only on one side, I know, just for this bit of the tutorial, and then off camera, I will definitely go and do the rest of my face, and we'll have a completed look at the end of this video. So I think I'm happy you can see the difference out here. I think I might need a bit of color correction. I think it's high time I invest in a color corrector because right now I don't have one. So yeah, this may not be the best of color correctors, but I'm still going to use it and I'm using a, a Maybelline color show. I don't even know what you guys can see, this, but it's a Maybelline color show in the shade 309. Well, if it doesn't work, then I can always just not show this video. <laughs> But if it does work, I'll be like, oh yeah, it worked, uh-huh, uh-huh, it worked. Uh -huh. Yeah, but I've actually always seen, like, uh, a lot of beauty um, makeup artists, you know, actually use Instagram makeup artists, use lipstick to do the color correcting aspect of it. But I think it looks a little better. What do you guys think? I hope you guys think that it looks a little better. <laughs> so, so taking my Huda Beauty palette. Super excited about it. Now, obviously, because this is a fake one, I'm guessing the names are not on it. So I'm gonna be using this uh, on the upper part of my eye, this towards the outer corner of my eye, this towards the inner corner of my eye, and the center of my eye. Sorry, the center of my eye. This one to give a little bit of depth shading. This one is my highlight. So yeah, pretty much the colors around. So let's start. I'm gonna start with this, and then move on to this, this this and finish off with this yep okay taking my clean brush rubbing this on the outer corner of my eye and then just putting it all around i know i need to be doing my brows first but i'll do the eye makeup first and then finish off on my brow that's the plan so again packing on some more product out here and then just kind of going all over in terms of the blending I don't know how much of this you can see or how much you can't but yeah I'm like loving the look that I'm seeing out here I need to pack on some more Bam! Alright, moving on. Step two. Packing it in the outer corner of my eye. Just blending it out. Ooh, wow! Damn, this is pigmented. So, yeah, so just kind of blending it completely to the. Yeah, just like I just go crazy, you know, out here. But just, I, I'm, I think this is gonna end up looking awesome. Let's just go a little crazy out here now. And I'm just taking a bit more of the previous color to blend it out. Oh, sexy. Ooh. Oh, this is awesome, guys. Can you see it? Ay, ay, ay. And I'm actually gonna end up doing a, like, kind of almost like a cut crease this way so that it looks sexy. It's awesome. Yeah, I think that I need to put in a bit of more product. Ooh, fancy. So, yeah. So it's looking hot now. Moving down to step three now. What I am thinking of doing is I'm planning to do a cut crease across out here. And then put on that darker shimmer. And I have been using um, 
the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. Now, it's only after I started using it that I heard a lot of people say really good reviews about it. So I was like, pretty glad that I bought it. And I know that product has been there in the market for some time now. I didn't think it worked that well, but I love the application of it. Um, just overall, it is really good. So I'm working my cut crease, girl. Moving on into step number four, which is getting that shimmer on that eye. Um, so you can either use an angled brush. I don't know whether you can see that. You can either use an angled brush or you can use a flatter, smaller tip brush. Everything is up to your comfort. Look at this, which is a flatter tip brush or an angled brush. So now whichever one you're comfortable with. I'm generally not comfortable with angled brush, so that's a no for me. I prefer this because it gives me better precision, for me at least. So work with what you feel comfortable with, what you uh, feel best that your hands like to handle. Yeah. So just going in with the color. I hope you guys can see. So this is going to be a little bit of a precision paint. Now this one is actually looking a lot lighter, only because I put in the concealer. Oh, it's awesome. It's an awesome color. I'm going to leave a little bit gap and then I'm just going to do this again on this side. Okay. And then okay. moving on to the next step. As I mentioned, I wanted to put in the lighter shade right in the middle because I think that would make it pop just a little bit more. So I think you can use um, something like a bronze light there if you don't have this exact palette as well a, a, like a kind of dull copper bronze would do so you can see that it's looking good i'm just gonna try and blend it out so i'm actually like because i want more of the copper so i'm gonna blend out more of that into this and again this way just blend more of that into this i should now you can give a little depth out here, since you can't really exactly see so much of a difference. You can choose to give a little depth out there towards, and I'll show you how we can do that a little bit as we go. Moving on down to the next step, I want to give it a bit more depth out here, out here. So I'm actually going to go in with the black uh, part of the shimmer and kind of work that into my outer eye. You can see that? And just work that into the outer corner of my eye and as you can see I'm just moving it a little bit into the crease as well. So I'm going to be using a slightly different brush at this point in time because I want a little bit of blending to happen so don't worry we get to clean out all the good stuff. I love this palette. So just working in with the with the previous shade and then just sort of blending it out. Right now, I don't even know how this is looking to you guys, but honestly, to me, it's looking like awesome. I'm sorry, I actually have wrinkly eyes, but that comes with age. I can't do anything about that. I'm going old. Going on. You can, um, you know, do that. So I'm honestly loving this look at the moment. What do you guys think? So for the lower lashes, I just wanted to keep some of the shades to the upper lashes. But before I do that, I just want to put some loose powder under my eye. So for my skin tone and I love it. So. Look how it's there. So I would like just put on a little bit of powder underneath that. Then I'm just going to show you the color for the under eye. I'm just going to go with this shade 
that's in the second row and the shape that's it just these two nothing standard there down here I'm just going in small motions out here to try and the position so I'm all thinking to get a position right out here so when I do that it will just tap up right I'm just making sure that my eye and everything is in the this in the thing I'm doing that so just kind of put in here okay so like this alright so gonna go in with the black now because we have that and we need to connect the upper and the lower eyelid so going in from the black for that I work in from the outer corner of my eye to make sure I'm connecting this along with this and then just sort of trying to work mostly on the edge of the bottom line I don't like putting I mean I've seen people put powder like literally in their eye and I'm like god and I can see at the end of it like I can see powder floating in their eye and I'm like doesn't that itch you like I feel like reaching over the screen and and actually helping the girl pull out the powder so I kind of don't like that so not doing that at all and I wouldn't recommend anybody to do it either out here just a little bit in the beginning to begin with so that when I to do the the section I am good Steve Maybelline fashion bow pencil I hope you guys can see it absolutely love this one I've been using this for quite some time right now my setting spray right now which is the Forever matte finish long lasting setting spray which is also a primer a correct and a set I picked this up on Amazon so never heard of the brand before just quickly okay I'll let this dry off one of the final products that I actually wanted to try from not the final product but one of the other products that I wanted to try from my haul uh, from Serena Stores was this really cheap lip gloss. Now this lip gloss was honestly 43 rupees, which is less than a dollar. You know, really less than a dollar. I don't know, it must be like, a dollar right now is what, 60, 65 rupees? So yeah, do the math. I'm not going to do it for you. Um, so it's from Itex. Now Itex does do a lot of, um, I don't know whether you can see it, but yeah, Itex does a lot of bindis. You know, I mean, I've opened it up. It looks normal. It Oh, it has a very, it has a weird, <laughs> it has a weird smell. Why am I smelling it? Oh God, but it has a weird, but really nice smell, you know. Um, I am concerned I'm putting this in my mouth, but I'm actually going to be, well, I'm not going to put it in my mouth, but I'm actually going to be putting it on my lips um, just to see, like, how it is. I am dreading doing this because I know it might be a bad idea, but I'm going to try doing it, so taking my I'm gonna put it on top of this so I'm not gonna do too much a dot a dot oh dear. 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 put a matte shade on the inner part of my mouth I don't know I can't judge I can't see um 
it doesn't look so bad like visually when you're seeing it i can smell that i don't even know whether it's a healthy smell or not but i'm just i'm scared <laughs> honestly i'm scared of having this product honestly under any circumstance i would not recommend anybody buying lip gloss this cheap please go and i know that it means spending a little bit more like at least you'll have to spend at least 300 or 400 rupees um yeah if i'm not just going to do this for the tutorial and that's it i'm not going to really use it or maximum i'll use it when i'm doing some sort of a face art but apart from that i'm really not going to be using this i know that for sure so um though it sounds and looks really interesting like shebang give me the glitter you know but i'm not going to really use it it's like i don't know it's not healthy i'm loving the eye color anyway i hope you enjoyed the video i had a really nice time doing it do leave me any feedback that you would like to in the comments below and i would definitely love to hear from you I am always welcoming of constructive feedback uh, and I'd always like to improve and make my videos better for you guys. If you'd like to see more videos coming out from me, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell button as well to stay notified for every time that I upload a video. And definitely like this video because I love to see, you know, see, I love to be loved. So yeah, like if you like it, you know, I know you love me. Um, thank you so much for watching once again. I hope you have a lovely time. See you soon. Until the next time, bye.